Who the fuck do you think you are watching these adverts? You're not even worthy of the new Renault Arca Arcana range. Have you got the money? If you don't, you're gonna have to beg, borrow, fight, fuck your way to survive in order to get the capital to, to really drive into the night. And who could blame you? It's a continental, medium, Irish medium crossover SUV of the year 2022. You either have the money for it, or you don't. It's time to fucking play with the big boys. Challenge us if you can. With the new Renault V6 Challenge, we invite anyone to try and speed against us. We're gonna be, we're gonna be in the Renault Taxi Megane, doing 90 around Paris. Nothing gay about Paris tonight. We're behind the wheel of a rocket ship to Mars. You've either got it or you don't. We're to Senator Michal Carey. The floor Proud is yours sponsors. and you have 10 minutes. Of the joy it's pretty much chair and just to, to welcome both of your witnesses. Um, and here this morning, and I think you'd be remiss of me not, um, while we're discussing what we're discussing today, not acknowledge the work, good work that you've done uh, down through the years and, uh, you know, the... The joy in particular to those as parents of young kids that the joy show does provide on an annual basis in our house. So I just want to acknowledge that. I appreciate that. Thank you. First of all, so Mr. Kelly, I'm just going to come to yourself just in relation to um, the whole, I suppose, deal as such as it is. Um, if I buy a car and I go to a car dealer, I pay for a car, I get an invoice for a car. If I ask for an invoice for a lorry, I won't get it. Why, when you were invoiced, um, did you did you use the term um, that you did on the invoice? I was oh, put forward sorry. by RT, even though you knew it was factually incorrect. Um, because that's what they that's what they asked us to do. Even though you knew it was factually incorrect. I um, sorry, if I can just bear with me a second. Um, so the page page twenty five um, in the pack there instructions for you. For invoicing from or from RTE, that's what they 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 uh, they asked us to do, and, and I had no reason not to not to trust them. But as I say, as you know, it's fa factually incorrect. You yourself are a company director, many many years of experience. Um, it's surprising to me that you didn't question it. Uh, the fact that it was to a company based in the UK, not as in the first year, which was to Renault, which was for seventy five thousand plus fat seventy mm -hmm. seventy. 1,250. The two invoices then for uh, in 22, for both 21 and 22, were to the UK at a 0% VAT. Rails Would that have not driving past. raise questions in your own mind about the fact that this was an invoice for services Drive which the were the and the fact that it wasn't even VAT rated or was zero VAT rated to a company through the UK? Sure. Um, my antenna wasn't open, I just I trusted RTE. Where the instructions came from. Didn't find that hard to believe, or someone with the experience that you have as a company director, that that wouldn't. And anyone that would be auditing or within your own internal company that would, wouldn't have a flag wouldn't have been raised in relation to that. What percentage did you get, say, of the Renault deal, which was in year one, which totaled, as I say, 92,250. Did you get a cut out of that deal, or was that solely for uh, Mr. Tuberty? Confer. Um, it, it, to, to be honest, we, we've, we've come to talk about the issues that are here. I, I don't feel it's relevant. <laughs> the what percentage. I just really want to know, was there a percentage for yourself in that arrangement that was put together with RTE? Well, uh, You're saying it was with RTE. I just want to know, sure. was there a percentage for NK? <coughs> Did you benefit financially from this arrangement over the three-year term in any way, or was it solely the benefit of Tuttle? Well, uh, uh, as I said, we, we came to talk about the issues at hand, but, but it's, it's, uh, that, that's... That's but, not one of the issues. But this is core to the issue at hand. That's the question. That's why I'm asking the question. But, yeah. I mean, the, these were these were the, the questions put by put by the committee to us, and, and that's what we've we've, we've been working on. But do I not have a right 
maybe chair to ask the question because I think it is relevant to what we're discussing. No, no, it's not relevant. I think I think it is. I think it's completely relevant. Yeah. payments. If, if they were via taxpayers' money, I, I think he has okay, an obligation I, to answer that. Bear me one wee minute, and I'll take some advice here. 